Hello everyone, please think of a very vivid memory. Did you find it? Okay, now try to remember what you had for Sunday lunch two weeks ago. Probably the second memory is not as strong as the first, but why not? Why do you remember some things and not some? And why do memories fade in the end? Let's first look at how memories are formed. When you experience something like learning to ride a bike, that experience is transformed into a pulse of electrical energy that moves rapidly along neurons. Information is initially stored in short-term memory, which can be accessed within a few seconds to a few minutes. Neurons nerve fibers throughout the brain are connected with each other by using nerve receptors in special places called SAMs. If Teneros are constantly connected, something wonderful will happen. The quality of communication between the two increases. This process is called long-term capability building. But how are some memories lost? Age is one of the factors. At the same time as our age synapsema starts to deteriorate and the ease of recalling memories is put under the beam. As our age increases, the brain starts to shrink and by the age of 80, 20% hippocampus lose their neurons. Such changes apparently affect how the stored information is recalled. Another main cause of memory loss in people is chronic stress, which causes the destruction of brain cells and the lack of ability to form new cells, which affects our ability to retain new information. Another cause is depression. Depressed people suffer from memory problems 40% more than others. Solitude, which is closely related to depression, is another memory thief. But don't despair. There are several ways you can help your brain retain memories. 1. Be sure to be physically active. It is useful to increase blood flow to the brain. 2. Eat good food, because your brain needs all the right nutrients to function properly. Choose your next challenge and be sure to like and subscribe.